Hi, this is Zach Mir with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Wednesday the 28th of June. Starting off with the S&P which has flipped back quite nicely. We were factoring and perhaps going down to 4290, 4300, but actually the low yesterday 4328 which is pretty good. We're now back at that resistance line projection which was the old target. Uh, it was then at 4360, now it's obviously towards 4380. About 4380 in that line looking for as much as uh, 4700 by the end of the summer, say by the end of August. Um, on the downside, not as I said, not expecting that much below the 4300 mark at the moment. Moving on to the stocks and uh, starting off with um, Roar Innovation, which I think is making its first uh, appearance here. Beautiful looking chart uh, with a uh, resistance line projection target there from November as high as $3. And that's valid while we hold above recent support around uh, 220 if we break three, it could be up to four dollars, which is a September resistance line projection. Hopefully, that could even pan out as soon as the end of next month. Moving along to uh, another stock which is making a debut here, and uh, here we have uh, AC Immune. Uh, here, the situation is that we've uh, gapped through uh, the 200 day line. Old resistance on the way down around 290 above that, we're looking for as high as a uh, one year resistance line projection at $4.40 by the end of next month and hopefully a bit sooner. One of the biggest rises of yesterday is uh, coming up now Black Diamond Therapeutics. So, uh, what you can see here is that uh, we've had a massive gap and uh, actually pushed through a former resistance on the way down around $4.70. Above $4.70, we're looking for a resistance line projection from the uh, end of 2021 actually uh, which is currently pointing as high as ten dollars so maybe ten dollars by the end of next month while we're above that uh, four seventy dollar area moving on to one of the more regular uh, stocks on this um, us chart breakers um, carvana and here we can see it's uh, trading either side of uh, its uh, previous targets so around twenty four dollars um, I want to see the shares remain above the uh, top of the gap area, which is around $18, and a proper break through the $24, $25 zone could give it a best case scenario target as high as $35 over the next four to six weeks. But the consolidation there may last a little bit longer than some might like. On to Coinbase, which is um, respond responding well to the recent. Uh, improvement in the crypto or well, at least the bitcoin price here we had a trend line break from back in march around the 60 dollar level above that we were looking for as high as 92 dollars and that could happen as soon as the end of next month nice uh, gap close by signal there earlier this month and uh, the shares look like they've got some decent momentum there moving on to another stock with decent momentum it is uh, carnival corporation and uh, here you can see that uh, we gapped up Earlier this month, we've tested for support at the top of that gap, and um, yesterday we had a gap close buy signal, so that is uh, pretty good technicals all around there. Looking for eighteen dollars over the next two to four weeks, maybe a bit sooner than that uh, for the shares, which uh, that's a May resistance line projection at eighteen dollars from uh, last uh, year. Moving along to uh, another stock which we just looked at uh, just a, a couple of days ago, maybe even yesterday actually, uh, EOS, and uh, here. Uh, maintaining its momentum. The initial target here after the break through the uh, low $3 area, $3.30 or so, was up to $5 and uh, that looks like that will be achieved in a matter of days. Maybe we could get up to $7 and uh, a, an early 2022 resistance line projection by the end of next month, especially while we remain above uh, initial June resistance through the $3.70 area. So our $3.70 looking for the upside to extend itself. Another uh, regular is coming up, uh, Enovix uh, Corporation, and uh, here uh, a nice breakout through resistance, so normally $15.30 above that, we're looking for as high as $21 at the top of that rising trend channel from December last year, and maybe we could see that by the end of next month. A plus point there is the bounce of RSI 50, the neutral level, which uh, gives this situation look a, a strong look as does the uh, rebound off the 50 and 200 day moving averages around $13 that we had uh, earlier in the week. Moving on to another favorite uh, for the chart breakers, favorite was it tends to behave itself, uh, Marathon Digital here, a uh, nice bull trap, um, a bull flag rather, um, breakout in the making, 
Recent support around $11.50 above that, looking for the top of that rising trend channel from November as high as $15.70 or $15.80 by the end of next month. Just the first hint that both the 50 and well, but the 200 day line is now starting to rise as well, which suggests that the momentum is picking up there. Open door has um, certainly come up with the goods over the recent past and looks like it will continue to do so. Uh, break out there through the old uh, resistance, uh, initial 2023 resistance of $3 above that, looking for $4.50 by the end of next month and uh, a nice uh, gap higher uh, which remains unfilled from earlier in the month to uh, extend the momentum on that stock. On to Riot and um, Riot Platforms uh, in a consolidation mode here, um, but it uh, looks like we're just about to escape free from the 50-day uh, moving average a sort of bull flag either side of it in recent sessions but the, the message here is above the uh, March uptrend line at $10 looking for up to $15.50 by the end of next month if you're fussy probably wait for an end of day close through that resistance line there around $12.30 before assuming $15.50 is on its way down to the last couple one the first one is um, Tesla and uh, here you can see that uh, we had, we've got the shares bouncing off one of our previous targets, bouncing off the $2.40 area uh, above that line there, that resistance line there from November, looking for up to $2.90 by the end of next month. I was just taking out the uh, June resistance around the upper 270s. Uh, Unity is the last stock in the selection today, Unity Software. And here you can see an uh, unfilled gap to the upside yesterday. Looks as though we're going to have a final comprehensive break of uh, post-September resistance around $43. Above that, on an end-of-day close basis, looking for as high as $55 by the end of next month. And uh, hopefully um, after that, it'll pull back from the main resistance zone. The shares will start speeding up. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.